The ditching software is a great alternative to the ATM if you need to place mug bets or complete a wagering requirement. Because it uses two separate bookies, it allows you to place twice as many bets in the same amount of time and often at a lower cost. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the different parts of the, the ditching software and how they all work. Uh, and we'll start just with this main table here where we've got information about upcoming events. So you can see around the outside, we've got information about the, the event itself, when it takes place in the market we're looking at. The, we've then got two bookies that we would be placing back bets with. Uh, in this case, it would be over two and a half at bet 365, over two and a half goals, and under two and a half at Ladbrokes. And you can see in some cases, we've got two-way dutches, and then for match odds and soccer, we've got three-way dutches that would involve three different back bets at three different bookies. On the right hand side, we can see the odds that are available currently at those bookies. And then we've got our return figure. So this is the percentage return you would receive on your total stake across the two bookies. Another way of saying that is that if you wagered $100 in total across these two bets, you would return 50 cents in profit. Now, you don't always see green numbers on the dutching software. Uh, you can see we've got three here, uh, but sometimes, you know, if it's a mug bet, we're happy to take a small loss and you can see there's lots of opportunities for that as we go further down. Along the top, we've got some filters, so you can filter by sport, you can filter by date, you can search for specific events. And then the filters that you'll use the most are these key bookie and available bookies filters. So available bookies are just bookies that you currently have accounts with and that you can place bet bets with. If you had access to every possible bookie, you wouldn't have to select anything in this drop down. But if you've got a limited number, you can see we could select bet365, bet R, uh, bet right. We'll, I'll just select a few at random here and you can see that the table updates to only include Dutch's that involve these bookies that we have access to. The key bookie makes things a bit more specific. So if we've got a wagering requirement at Sportsbet, for example, I'll select that in available bookies first, but let's say we've got a wagering requirement at Sportsbet, or we want to play some mug bets at, at Sportsbet, we can select that as the key bookie. And we'll see that now every Dutch that we're offered here includes Sportsbet. So if you've got a specific bookie that you want to bet with, select that as the key bookie and the available bookies should be every bookie that you have access to. There's also a market filter over here on the premium version of the Dutching software. We only have match odds and over under two and a half goals for soccer. Uh, and you can see that the majority of these here are, are match odds Dutches that we're seeing. If we click on one of them, it opens up a calculator on the right hand side. And you can see we've got a total stake across the two bets of $100. And that gives us the return that we were seeing over here. Now, these stakes are a little bit unusual. Uh, so if we wanted something that was maybe uh, more like what we would use at a bookie, we can switch to rounded stakes and you can see it changes to 45 and 55 there. That's obviously going to have some impact on the profit, but not a lot. The other thing that we can do, if we wanted to place $100 at Bet365 rather than $100 overall, we can change the input stake and we could change that to Team 1 and then we can uh, select $100 for bet365 and it will tell us what stake we need at sports bet to give us that equal profit on both outcomes there down below the calculator we can also see some alternative bets for the same game so this is obviously with bet365 and sports bet and this is the best option uh, as a dutch for the, for this game at the moment but there are some alternative bookies so we can see the the next best option is tab uh, who have slightly lower odds than Bet365 for Cronulla. And then we've got different options as we go down. We do have three different versions of the Dutching software, depending on which membership tier you have. 
Uh, so I'll just point out when I do select all here, you can see we've currently got 23 bookies available on the premium version. But if I switch over to premium plus and do the same thing, you can see we've got 58, so more than double as many bookies on premium plus. But the th other thing to note is that a lot of these bookies uh, might not necessarily like you betting on sports. So this brings real bookies into the software and for turnover and so on, this can be great, but we do have to be careful, especially when it comes to arbitrage situations. Uh, you don't want to get your account flagged up with one of these real bookies that appear on the Premium Plus version. But other than that, everything works exactly the same. It's just the number of bookies that are available and also the number of markets that are available. You can see over here that we've got both teams to score, draw no bet. Uh, so we've got some additional uh, markets that appear in the Premium Plus version. There's a first half winner market there. So and we've got over under three and a half goals. So there's a few more markets that appear in there. Uh, and then the next step up is to go to the pro version. And this is where there's a real significant change. So you can see straight away, we've got a lot bigger arbs over here. And if I scroll down, you can see that there's an awful lot more of them, uh, much, much more than in the premium or premium plus versions. And that's because we include markets like player props, so player rebounds, player assists, player points, all of these player prop markets uh, are included. And because they're a little bit more obscure, there's more chance of discrepancies between bookies, which leads to these arbitrage opportunities. And if I scroll down a little bit, uh, we'll probably find some other interesting things. So here we've got a cross market arb. Uh, so this is where instead of backing both sides of a single market at different bookies, we're actually betting different markets, which still cover all outcomes. So in this case, it's match odds on Bayern Munich, and then we're using double chance to cover the other two outcomes on that game. And then the final thing to point out on the pro version is that we also find middles. So a middle is when we're betting on two markets and have a possibility that both of them are going to pay out. So in this case, we're betting player points and we're betting on this player to have under 5.5 points at Bet365 and over 4.5 points at Tab. If he was to have exactly five points, both of those bets are going to win and we're going to get a big payout. So this is another advantage of the pro version is that we can find these opportunities and we don't actually need a promo available, we can still make money from these middles even after we've been gubbed. So that's the three different versions of the Dutching software. For most people, you'll just be using the, the standard Dutching. It's great for mugs, great for turnover. Uh, if you do have real bookies and you're comfortable betting on, real, uh, on sports at real bookies, you might want to look at the Premium Plus version because that's going to give you a lot more options. And then if you've been gubbed from a lot of bookies, and you want to start getting into ARBs and middles, you might want to have a little look at the pro version. But that's everything. So if you've got any questions, as always, you can let us know. Cheers, guys.